Now, all too often, we think of acute pancreatitis as a diagnosis that you can only make on a CT scan. But as far as I'm concerned, this is a very easy diagnosis to make on an MR as well. But it is important to remember that you need the right pulse sequences to help you make the diagnosis. The T2-weighted images are going to be critical, and in particular, as far as I'm concerned, fat suppression can be invaluable for making this diagnosis with confidence. Here's an example where you can see that clearly the pancreas is abnormally bright on T2-weighted images and is enlarged, right? And you can see that the pancreas, especially in the fat-suppressed images, shows a great deal of peripancreatic induration, fat stranding, and free fluid. And all of this is confirmed on the CT images where the pancreas clearly looks inflamed and large with surrounding peripancreatic free fluid. This is a classic example of acute pancreatitis. Now, as far as I'm concerned, post-gadolinium images are less helpful for making the diagnosis of acute pancreatitis, but are critical for staging. And in this case, notice that there's no evidence of non-enhancement or hypo-enhancement. There's no evidence of pancreatic necrosis. This is acute edematous interstitial pancreatitis.